I'll just have to jump in and beat him. I'll worry about what comes next when it happens. Just as I'm about to command Archer to go in. Bang! Flash of light. What could it have been? A bright light. A bright white light like a fallen sun comes from within the house. The presence is eclipsed by another presence. The wave of power of the servant Lancer is confused by an even larger wave. The instantaneous explosion of either gives the spiritual being a body summoned to overpower Lancer. No way, I can only mutter. But it's true. To prove it, Lance... <laughs> to prove it, Lancer jumps over the wall and leaps away as if fleeing from his place. Hey Archer, is this another one of your hypothetical scenarios? I don't know, but this makes seven. All the masters are here now, Rin. Archer answers calmly. I've lost my normal judgment. That's why I didn't even consider the obvious event that would follow. The wind blows strongly. Clouds cover the sky like an umbrella. The unlit suburbs are enclosed by darkness. What was that? And the servant jumps over the wall, coming down like a demonic bird. Archer has reacted already, but I couldn't react. That was my mistake. The battle ended with the with that small opening, but not lasting even a second. It might have been only a second for me, but for that servant, it was an opening that couldn't be ignored. A sword rushes for me. Oh no. Oh no! Did Reen get stabbed? Huh, Archer? Archer pushes me aside, and the servant slashes him. Oh, Archer saved her. It happens in an instant. Archer, who handled Lancer's fury of attacks beautifully, has been taken down with one blow. Archer disappeared. Oh. Archer, disappear! There. Did I do it correctly? <laughs> but I make it in time this time. Just as the enemy servant is about to cut off Archer's head with her blade, I forcibly remove him. A pain in my right hand. It must have been an excessive command, so a command spell has disappeared from my hand. Now there's only one remaining, but this is for the best. Rather than having Archer die, I would prefer to lose one or two command spells. Giving no consideration to Archer's disappearance, the servant attacks me. Don't underestimate me. Oh. Oh. Thumbnail material right here. Thumbnail material. Look at that. That is an awesome. That's awesome. Look at that. That's so cool. All right. I take from my pocket a topaz with a wind spell stored in it. Then I launch all the magical energy it contains at her without processing it. This thing, which can blow away a house without a trace, is a bundle of wind spells I've stocked up over time. It's one of the ten jewels I've been putting my magical energy into for 17 years without rest. I'm using all the magical energy stored in it, so even if I can't defeat her, it should at least slow her down a bit. Hopefully it works. No, not even that. It did nothing. The swirl of wind that instantly tears apart anything caught within its it disappears like a magic trick the instant it touches the servant. Such strong magic resistance. Mere magical energy from a magus cannot hurt his the servant. So, this is it. She can't be hurt by magic and I've lost the protection of Archer, so I can't stop this servant. I barely managed to avoid one blow, but that's all. I looked up at the night sky. In it is the figure of cold-hearted death who is looking down at me as I lay miserably on the ground. Whoa. Whoa, thumbnails. It's the saber. Look, everybody, it's the saber. Whoa. The wind blows. In between the dark clouds and the spiral sky, the moon shines. The falling moonlight and the beautiful face. This is the servant that drove off Lancer, defeated my archer in one strike, and annulled my magic with no trouble. The magic was splendid, Magus. The girl's voice is like a bell. Yes, this voice is like a nightmare right now. It's only natural. 
the more beautiful my enemy is, the more of a nightmare it is, as I cannot believe the difference in our strength. But this is your end, Master of Archer. The point of the sword shines brilliantly. On the verge of death, I understand. With just one look, without proof. This is the card I wanted. The one said to be the strongest of all servants. The hero of the sword. The saber! I look up at the moon, accepting my death. There's no, there's no time for me to flee or plead for my life. I will die here, and Tosaka Rin's Holy Grail War will end on the third day. There's only disgrace and regret, and I will probably vanish, bearing a grudge against my enemy. But still, I don't feel anything. Something must really be wrong with me. Even though I'm going to be killed in an instant, I adore her again. That's right. If you ask for regrets, that's it. But I guess it can't be helped, because she's the most powerful servant. Because her figure is just so heartless, so infinitely valiant, and so beautiful. Whoa, what could this mean? What could this mean that the saber popped up? Whoa! Animu! Really low resolution Animu. Is this like an ad? A music video? <laughs> Alright! I can get behind this! Why is it so resolution though? Because it's... It's blurry. That is for certain. This song was actually in the anime. Also, I think this is different. This is not. I'm trying to guess who did the artwork for this or the animation. I think it's Dean. It's hard to tell because it's so pixelated. But I think it's Dean. up res. It's very good. Look at those particle effects. Face Say Night Real to New uh Yeah. Whoa I haven't ha I ha have a secret that I haven't told you. I'm a Magi. Three years after the death of his foster father Strange events began happening in town, and he finds himself drawn into a battle between Namagi called Masters. Config? Extra? Start? What is this? What are the extras? Gallery? You can go into the gallery? Fate? What is this? You can look at- I can look at all the artwork I've gotten? There's like different versions of this? This is pretty cool. Non-displayed picture. You can look at the- oh, that's so cool. That is... This is awesome. I like this. Any other galleries that I have yet to unlock? Does that mean... What's... Why is there this gap here? Um, is this where I think it is? This, this, this obvious gap right here? Is this, um... You know. <laughs> Wait, what? Gallery. Another? Huh? Alright. I guess it's just like, just the extra stuff? Oh, we got all the hero cards? That's pretty cool. Uh, next. <laughs> I like that, that's funny. Oh. It's back, 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 back. Music? You can listen to the music, watch the movies. So that's the opening movie. Alright. ED list. See the game endings you have received. Gallery, prologue, watch the prologue again. No thank you. Playtime, three hours! Oh my god, the th three hours is the opening? 
Or I guess I... What does load do? Nah, we don't want to go load. I want to go to start. Start, my friends. That's what we want to do. I am the bone of my sword. Steel is my body and fire is my blood. I've created over a thousand blades unknown to death. Nor known to life. Have withstood pain to create many weapons, yet these hands will never hold anything. It's time to get these hands! I think last one was so as I pray, unlimited blade work or something like that. Unlimited blades works. When I came to, I was in a burning field. Oh, it's a Shiro, I guess, right? I guess there was a big fire. The familiar town had turned to ash, and it looked like the remains of a battlefield from a movie. But that didn't last long either. The fire had died down by the time the sun rose. The tall wall of flame had shortened and most of the buildings had fallen. It felt strange, being the only thing in that place that still had its original form. I was the only one still alive around here. I must have been really lucky, or my house was built in a very lucky spot. I don't know which it was, but the point is, I was the only one left alive. I felt that since I survived, I should live on. I started walking aimlessly, because I thought it would be dangerous just to stay there. I wasn't really concerned about getting burned up like the people lying around me. Probably because, over and above, not wanting to be like them, I had a stronger feeling in my mind. But still, I had no hope. It was already a wonder I was still alive, so I couldn't expect to be saved. I won't survive. Whatever happens, I won't be able to escape from this red world. It was such an absolute hell that even a small child could understand it. Oh, and I collapse. Was it because there was no air? Was it because no function was left in my body? Anyway, I collapsed and stared up at the clouded sun. <clears throat> Everything around me was burned up and I could see many shriveled people. Wow, that's, that's very dark. The dark clouds loomed overhead, telling me it would rain soon. That's good enough. The fire will be put out once it rains. In the end, I sighed deeply and looked up at the sky. I say to myself that it hurts. I say so on behalf of all the people who couldn't even say so. Well, that's... That was dark. That was ten years ago. After that, I was After that, I was miraculously saved. My body survived, but I think all the other things about me burned up and were reduced to ashes. If you take away a child's parents, home, and all such things, there's nothing left for him. That's why there was only my body. I think it's a simple story. In other words, in order to let my body live, my heart died. Wow, that's deep. I'm dreaming. Huh? I squint my eyes at the white light. So bright, I think. It was just like entering my eye. It was just like light. <laughs> oh, see tactics. It was just like. It was just light entering my eyes when I woke up, but I'm not used to it. I probably didn't even understand what the bright light meant. Oh man, thumbnail material right here, boys. <laughs> this light. Huh? When my eyes focused, I'm surprised. I'm lying on an unfamiliar bed in an unfamiliar room. I'm surprised, but the room is so white and clean that I feel safe. Where am I? I look around. The room is big and there are many beds. The person is in each bed and everyone seems to be hurt. But nothing feels ill in this room. Everyone who's hurt is someone who was saved. I relax and let my eyes wander. Oh, this is more thumbnail materials right here, boy. Outside the window. The bright light, the bright blue sky was unbelievably beautiful. The music in this game is really good. I'm sorry, but it just is. After a few days, I finally understood. I could clearly remember what had happened in the past few days. Even so, I was no different from a newborn baby. Not just a metaphor, it was close to the truth. Anyway, it was a terrible fire. 
I had, I had been saved from it, was in the hospital with my body wrapped up in bandages, and my parents were gone. I didn't get the situation, but I vaguely understood that I was left alone. I think I understood quickly. Well, there was nothing but children in similar situations around me, so all I could do was absorb the fact. And after that, that man came right when I was beginning to worry what would happen to me next. He came on the day my bandages were taken off and I was able to eat without help. Wrinkled coat and uncombed hair, the man, a bit younger than the doctor, felt more like a big brother than a father. Hello, you must be Shiro-kun. A smile that seems to melt into the white sunlight. I think it was a suspicious voice, but a very kind voice. I'll ask you directly, which would you prefer? To go to an orphanage, or to be adopted by this man you've never seen before? That man was saying he could adopt me. When I asked him if he was a relative of mine, he just... He said he was just a stranger. He'd look like an unreliable guy with no future. But it made no difference, as I knew nothing about either one, him, or the orphanage. So I decided to go with him. I see. That's good. Get ready quickly, then. You should get used to your new place as fast as you can. The guy quickly started packing my stuff. His packing wasn't even good. Even, even in the eyes of a child. Then after making a big mess... Oh, I forgot to mention something important. I have to tell you one thing before you come with me. Is that okay? He turns to me lightheartedly and says, Yeah. To start off with, I'm a sorcerer. Well, you know, that's that's a good way to start off your uh, relationship with your new adopted kid. Yep. Mm -hmm. He says it in a serious, exaggerated tone. Happened in an instant. Come to think of it now, I was really a child back then. I automatic. Well, of course you were. I automatically. I, uh, I automatically believe those words. Wow, you're awesome. I guess I'd said so with bright eyes. I guess I was a kid back then. Shiro is not a mathematician, that's for sure. Since that time, I became his child. Actually, I don't remember what I said back then. But my father would always talk about that day. He would remember and retell the story again and again. So for my father, Emiya Kiritsugu, that might have been the happiest day of his life. So, I guess it was strange for my father to tell me that he was a sorcerer. But I was, but I was strange as well for admiring that. And thus, I became an adopted son, and my last name became Emiya. Emiya Shiro. When I said my name, I was really proud of having the same last name as Kuritsugu. I'm dreaming. A story from my childhood. It was when I finally convinced my father to make me his student, so it must have been about eight years ago. When I was old enough to stay at home by myself, Kuritsugu started to leave the house on a regular basis. He would say in his normal tone that, he would travel the world and actually act on those words. That's how it was, after all. It was normal for him to leave the house empty for a month, and he sometimes wouldn't come home for half a year. The Imiya house is a big Japanese-style house, and Kuritsugu and I were the only ones living there. I was perplexed at his house at times, as it was too big for a child. But still, I liked my life here. Emiya Kuritsugu would come home from his journeys and tell me lots of stories like a child. And the child he sh who shared his last name would be at home waiting for those stories. Aw, that's adorable. I was always alone in the house, but that loneliness would all fade with the stories he brought back. The father who was always chasing his dreams like a kid. His attitude was astounding, but he, was al but he always seemed dazzled to me. Dazzling, dazzling. God dang it, see tactics. That might be why I wanted to be like him someday. Well, on top of that, looking at my ever-dreaming father, I felt I should become reliable myself. So I learned how to be a guy, I, so I took up construction. Now I'm a, I'm a construction person. I should probably save. I hear a sound. Let's, let's save. Let's save. I hear a heavy, old, rusty sound as the door opens. What could it be? 
Light enters the dark shed. Uh, my mind waking up. Senpai, are you awake? Feels the cold air and the approaching footsteps. <laughs>